A beautiful good morning to you here in Hopalong Hollow. We are in the Art Emporium, the Hopalong Hollow Emporium today, which is actually a section in the garden room. My first Emporium was right over there in the potting shed. I used it for a long time as an art gallery, a little tiny art gallery, but it's very, very dark in there and very small. Here I have a lot more room because I only need half of this room for my gardening bits and pieces. But here I have so much space, especially up against this wall, to display and to do short videos to introduce you to the latest things that I'm working on. We've changed things around a bit in here. Just wanted to show you all this before I get started on my first enticement for you to enjoy. But this is an old soda fountain base from the early 1900s, which is a great place for storing bags, tissue paper, and wrapping things. And then James built a shelf all the way up to the ceiling, just like he did in my studio upstairs. And this is a great place to display fiber, paper gardens, scratched eggs, anything I want so that I can actually do some pretty good little videos with a new scene every month and a new character or a new piece of artwork. My intention to fill this little old clockwork case full of probably mice, tiny mice, chipmunks, and all manner of little creatures. So we are in the Hopalong Hollow Emporium right now, which is a section of the garden room. What a perfect place for an emporium, an art emporium, in a garden room. The two just seem to go together. Now if I were to set up a booth at an art show, I would be doing very much the same thing as I've done here. Displaying my books, and my cards, and my prints. And of course, the five. The idea is to create the Hopalong Hollow atmosphere here in the Emporium, the Art Emporium, so you can get the feeling that you're in here shopping, looking around, flipping the pages of the books, having a cup of tea. And just getting a nice feel for the artwork. So after that brief introduction, let's just move along to our first Hopalong Hollow Emporium video short. In the making of the little chickadees that I'm going to show you today, I first have dyed my wool with goldenrod. I dyed this last August and then I card it either in this drum carter or I card it by hand. An old-fashioned wooden carter of all sizes. First requirement in creating any needle felted sculpture is that you have an armature or a skeleton, whether it's a tiny bee or a little mouse or a bird, or maybe something larger like a squirrel, a raccoon, a badger, or a large hare. Got to have some form on which to work, an infrastructure so to speak. And so first thing I do when making the little baby chicks is to make a skeleton for all of them using wire. Every little toe, every bit of the stru structure is wrapped in wool. The skeleton is then wrapped and needle felted, meticulously sculpting the wool with a barbed needle. This can take a long time. In fact, the chickadees took about 10 hours apiece.
avoid any chicken spots, it looks like I'll have to choose the hats for each little chicklet. You don't want any bickering here. happy with the millinery choices. Each little hat fits perfectly on each fuzzy yellow little head. And now all these little ladies need are their name tags. Sassafras, Lucy, Willa, Mavis, and Lola. So thank you for joining us in our first Hopalong Hollow Emporium short featuring the Hopalong Hollow Chicklets. If you're interested in adopting any of these little chicklets, please visit my website linked below. You can buy them directly off the website. They will go up for sale as soon as this video is posted. So it's easy to adopt one. Enjoy this video short. It's um, something of an experiment. I'm a little rusty at it so far. But I think it'll get, it'll get a little more interesting and a lot better. In the meantime, it was fun to make. And the next time we do a video short from Hopalong Hollow Emporium, we will be featuring something else. So if you want any of these little chicks, please be sure to go to the website. And there are only seven of them, as I said. So I'm not sure how long they'll be around. But next time we'll have something new and different. So from Hopalong Hollow, we'll see you in the garden next time. Bye.